The countdown is on and the northern province is steadily winding down the clock for its big day. With only two months to go, the province is putting final touches to an event that will go down as one of the biggest to be ever hosted in the region. This will be the commemorations for centenary celebrations of the end of the First World War and the Tourism and Investment Expo to run from November 20 to 25. The First World War commemorations will mark 100 years since the fighting ended. The province has taken advantage of this world event to also sell itself, reason why these commemorations will be held along with the Tourism and Investment Expo. The provincial headquarters, which is Kasama and Mbala, will be main hosts of the event. By hosting this important landmark in history, Zambia hopes to set the record straight, especially on how the war ended between the British, its allies and the Germans. The First World War ended here in Northern Province, and particularly in Mbala. And so uh, the World Committee, uh, uh, because there's a committee uh, for the First World War, a commemoration, decided that we host, as, as Northern Province, as Zambia, we host the commemoration of the end of the First World War. Northern Province is one region in the country which still carries the scars that reminds the world of the First World War. In Kasama, there is the von Luto Vorberg National Monument site. It was here that the Germans, who were still fighting the British, marching further inland into Zambia, were informed of the end of the war. Notice of the end of the war was received on November 11, 1918, via telegraph at Broken Hill, which is present-day Kawe. However, the district commissioner for Kasama, Hector Croyd, only received the information late on November 14, and he informed the Germans on the end of the war. After being informed of the end of the war, the Germans turned back and marched for 10 days until they came to this spot in Mbala. This is where the Germans officially surrendered to the British command in Mbala, and the place has been secured as a national monument. As for the authorities here, they know that they have much more to show than this site. We have an Anglican building within here. There is a lot of history to that. We have Tanganyika Victoria Memorial Institute. Uh, currently, it's, it's now used as a library, TVMI. Okay? Which was used just about uh, some meters away from this point. We have Polish graveyards within here. Yeah, we have Motomoto, Mejiam. There is a lot of rich history on the same. We have a telegraphic office, which was used by which was used by then when 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 yeah, by Central Africa. Lake Chila is also unique because when the Germans now agreed with the Britons to cease fire, to cease fire, I think this lake, this lake, that's where now the Germans throw their guns. Although Kasama and Mbala may be the main spots for the centenary celebrations of the war, Mpulungu would not be left out of the program completely. Mpulungu, which is Zambia's only port, was a major witness of the war because the German soldiers entered the country through this inlet. The first two German soldiers to cross here, they crossed uh, on Lake Tanganyika. And so the SS Liemba people know, which we started learning from grade one, the okay. SS Liemba, that was a German military ship. Uh, that is the ship the Germans used uh, to cross from Tanzania to here in Pulungu. Then from here, they moved up going to Mbala. Uh, this is where the First World War ended. And here in Mpulungu, they also left marks which are very historic. We've got Kapata village, we've got also graveyards, which is our colleagues who died while they were passing through. But as earlier intimated, these celebrations will not just be about the First World War. The Tourism and Investment Expo to run side by side will take advantage of the many expected international visitors to attract foreign investment. Chansamayani, ZMBC Newsline in Northern Province.